Uh, basically, folks, it, the most interesting thing today is I'm basically recording it. Basically, you can watch these dots, and you will see the, the stars, uh, black light. And basically, if you look, my lower right-hand corner, I'm not even going to move the cursor. If you look in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, you have my central time, which is 2.36 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4.30, 2012. And basically, yes, we have the fifth month, first date, and because Japan is ahead of us on time, okay? So live, you are getting a feed of those stars doing their action right now, and there's lots of them. So all those spots that you see, this is the volcano area. Now, it's I got a feeling, I'm presuming and assuming on this now, exactly, okay? Presuming and assuming. Now, whether they have a lot of overcast plus cloud ash, because we know it's the volcano you're looking at. It's a live cam, okay? Uh, it is live. It might be delayed whatever minutes, but we got 435, and we got so it's delayed like a minute on time. So basically, it should be daylight over there right now. And you just, to the left, you can see it is. So I'm pretty much presuming and assume basically that it must have erupted pretty good, or there must be a hell of a lot of ash and rainy overcast today. Uh, because even though it's 436, Usually at 2.30 in the afternoon, Central Standard Time here, there's usually daylight over there. Either that or the sun's just starting to come up. And if I'm wrong on that, and basically, I guess I can go to sunrise over there and see what we got going on. But basically, it's flowing real good right now, so I'm letting it play. And you can see all these white dots. And what those are is star propagation from out in space. Okay, Universes, galaxies, Milky Way, doesn't matter. Uh, conglomerated together or whatever, you are seeing what you are seeing. Okay, now that could be the east and the sun coming up to the left. I'm not positive on that. Uh, no matter what, uh, she's smoldering pretty good because you can see no matter what if it's overcast and ash overfill, and then no matter what, you can see the star propagation because every one of those little white or gray dots, and you can see triangulation on all of them. Okay, whether they're a tight group. And I'll let it play, and if it locks up, then I'll start pointing to what the stars, what I'm talking about. But you can see the planets moving inside the triangulation of the one right above the lettering. So I'm going to start moving, and you'll see it. And basically, you can see all this happening right here, okay? There's a triangulation of that dot, that dot, that dot, and it almost looks like there's a planet rotating on the outside here, and there's other stuff rotating here also. And what it is is a hologram down here on Earth, ladies and gentlemen. And we've proved this in the past, and it's in my old videos and stuff like that. But I just thought, I said, well, I haven't looked at the volcano in there for a while. Let's go over and see what's going on. And I was surprised, and I'm pretty sure that it should be normally daylight right now. Uh, I could be wrong on that. I don't really even really care too much on the daylight if it's not. Or not. It'll pan through, because if you research and it's the idea that it's supposed to be daylight over there now, and it's not, then it is a major eruption of something, or either that or they got overcast, and the ash like crazy, which is nothing new to a volcano area. Uh, so, but you can, no matter what, it's still feeding real good right now, and you can see all the stars and the triangulations, and there's stars and planets that are, you know, and we know, that, I mean, Alaraf and Rigel Kentaurus A and B and all the supergiants, you go look at those ones, and I don't know what's going on in the constellation. You can take and research that yourself, so I won't even be propping anything up for you. You can look at the constellations and stars that are shining down on that volcano over in Japan right now. And now, every one of my videos, even this video, is going to have the link to this. And this is camera 9 that I always look at. I don't even waste my time even looking at the other cameras. So I guess at this point, what I should do is go ahead and take a peeky-poo at some of the other cameras that I've got on this link. But it's playing so good. Usually this locks up. And you can see the rotation of all these. Uh, there's a very tight triangulation that's right here can watch that and it's playing good normally this damn thing locks up bad there's a real triangulation up here and these stars moving around there it almost looks like uh, a five point like the four dime like a diamond bam 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 there here also there is action and you'll see it pop up whether it be two or three other stars and you got just all over the screen there's also over here there is. So you got floppers and movers of stars and black light from outer space. And then there's a bigger triangulation you can see here, here, and here. And as it plays through, you can see also see up here in the sky. You got that, that. So 
whatever we got for lighting right now, it's showing in the smoke and ash from the volcano over there in Japan. And I'll go ahead and go to the other links. And it's just, you know, I don't need to give you an address because basically I have them. You can just go down and click on these links and it'll load up in your Microsoft Windows Player and you can see the live feed like this. So, 1000%, 100% factual data truth that basically this star propagation and planets out in space somehow have sex with volcanoes and minerals in the Earth's core and magna. And there's magnetic attraction. Uh, and I'm an electrician, certified asshole, pie hole electrician, and basically it is all the hugest motor that you've ever seen in your life because it's space and the objects in space and you've seen the meatball. So this is playing really good. It's kind of mean to disturb it because you leave here and you won't see it. I mean, you'll have to go to yourself and then maybe you'll get different lighting at different time of the day. So some great footage of stars triangulating and no, ladies and gentlemen, it's not UFOs. They are not mining the Earth. They are not mining the Sun. And they are not they because basically we have not found any intelligent human or unintelligent human or any kind of form of, of uh, breathing or any kind of anything. And that is, folks, once you say that you've seen a UFO, you are effed over. So unidentified flying object of material through space because basically that's what this is suns and stars triangulated and hologramming down here to earth and they ignite just like throwing sulfur into a fire uh, that volcano over there and you can see all these triangulations and these stars moving very quickly as you can see the clock tick away and you can see the stars twinkle 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 just like at night time okay and I really don't believe it should be night time there this is probably all ash and you're still seeing all these triangulations and that's why it's probably doing whatever it's been doing today because normally it's daylight there and it probably is it's just a bunch of ash and you can come back to this later in the week or something and you'll see the shot and you can go to my old videos to look for a volcano head and basically this has been that volcano we, uh, that I've showed the most of and links are always in my show more you put the put you hit the slow show more button and let me go to my site since this just keeps continuing, so it's great action right now. Watching these stars do their thing to that volcano over there right now. So, let me go to another shot and show you the addresses and stuff. Now, if anybody's new to my channel, you basically go look up Beano Black's channel on there and you'll get this. And they don't update my videos very good. Well, I guess they did t recently. Look at this. Wow, one of them, one of my newer ones up. Okay, so I'll go to my channel. And you will see the factuality that uh, they put a lot of crap behind the links. And it's going to be interesting to see how small they got it. I'm even kind of wondering if I'm just talking to everybody that's either been in the U.S. military or retired or something. And that really wouldn't matter to me. Don't really care. Just going to keep putting my basically data feeds up. And basically there are people that come in and see it. And who knows? You just never know. doesn't matter. I mean, it should. And I'd have a nice lawsuit going if basically because they've always advertised of what they've done to be able to have these sites and stuff like that. So the Internet's interesting is, is beautiful until they start charging a shitload of money for it. And they're probably going to do it in the future because basically nobody's watching TV. Not very many people. Older people, younger idiots. I mean, not, not, I'm sorry about younger youth, but the idea not younger, but young and, and full of, you know what, and it's the D word and then full of, you know, so... It's brainwash city, ladies and gentlemen. The elder, but brainwash the elderly and brainwash the young, the youth. Okay, so I'll go to one of my. This is one of my ones today that basically I was giving the information. I was looking for the buoy action stuff, and then you basically you go ahead and you pull up the show more on all my videos, and the links are here. I go to camera nine all the time, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to. We'll go to like maybe seven, something like that. And this is all Sheila aliens. This is, was in a great job, and her other friends that had heard her at, and they she believes I believe in. I think, but I don't want to put words in her mouth. I believe she does think I believe of UFOs. And I have lots of people that do believe in UFOs. Maybe you've seen a Martian, this, this, that, whatever. I never have. Don't believe it in this, everything like that. There's no argument between me and them. I love their sites for getting information of objects that are moving in. And there you go. There is a shot. And this is all because of Sheila Aliens and her friends that have put these links up. 
and whoever else is in charge. And basically, you see the light propagation here, too, the triangulation of the objects. And basically, they have made that volcano. And maybe the sun is coming up. I'm not sure on Japan right now what the heck's going on on the time. Maybe it is daytime, and maybe it's just overcast, and there's a bunch of ash. kind of does look like that. Uh, just to see what the Japan, I'll hurry up and see if I can see Japan's uh, sunrise. But you can see the triangulation of the star and the moving planet right down there in the grass. And we've seen that for a hell of a long time. We thought it was UFO. I went and researched it, and it's like, wow, it's amazing. It's, oh, what the hell is that thing? Well, it's just, it's stars, and it's, uh, there's a planet in the middle, and there's stars rotating around, and that planet's rotating around real fast inside it. Then the French telescope thing talked about it. Check that triangulation that's real big and wide over here. Now, this the most interesting right now is the tight one right there, okay? That is very interesting right there. Then you have this, this, and there's rotators around that one, and just there alone it looks like it, and you have a triangulation of bang, bang, and bang. So astronomers are getting their eyes full right now because you know that they're matching up new constellations and connections of triangulations of stars out there from the Big Bangs, folks. Not just the Big Bang. There was Big Bangs. So then this turn that we're going around in space in the Milky Way galaxy as we follow the sun, always, usually, hopefully. And that's why my name is Beano Black, basically Beano Black Dark Day, okay? And basically, you have star propagation and flopping and rotation over here on the right, too. And it's all factual. And basically, I'm not the one that discovered this. I'm basically to keep proving it a thousand percent, a hundred percent truth data because there's been scientists and there's been television specials that you've seen scientific a long time ago. That's like it does sun propagation or heat from the sun or something from outer space actually ignite there's it because it's been thought to be a theory that it ignites these. Uh, volcanoes and causes earthquakes and we know it does we factually know there's tons of people who go to dutch sense and talk and communicate so we've got tons of star action everything like that and i really think this bugger is going to erupt today because you can see the and i'm getting some great footage here because you can see the huge diamond that we are getting above the volcano right now so there is an alignment of some stars sun or whatever and there's way more than one star or way more than one sun out there and you're getting a great image of a hologram and the heat that it gets transferred down to Earth and reacts with the minerals in this volcano and other volcanoes around the world and also uh, star propagation down onto Earth, hologram action. And it's coming off these webcams, we're picking it up, and it's just this is some great footage right here. And I got a feeling this thing's going to do some pretty good action the next, either that or it did today, and that's what we have all the darkness from in the plume. So I'll try to sneak in. Uh, we just get this is great footage. It's feeding really good of uh, all this action because there is a gigantic, if you can't see what I'm talking about, it's all this light propagation right here. You need to revisit my links all the time and see what this actually looks like during the daytime with no uh, hologram af action that you'd want to call it of what we are uh, chemtrailing and they are doing it for weather modification over here in the United States for grow crops and to keep it cool. Uh, there's fires around the world and everything like that from this propagation of light from outer space. Uh, Milky Way galaxy, galaxies, space, uh, constellations, and this stuff all exists and it's all happening right in front of your eyes right now, live video. And basically from today, in this central time right down here in the right hand corner, and all this up here is not anything you figure in your imagination. It's not just cloud and ash, and there is, there's cloud and ash out there in the air from that volcano. But it's also light propagation from what's off out in space. And it's what's shining down onto Earth over at that volcano over in Japan. And uh, I, basically, I guess basically i got to go show and see what time it is. And there you go. There's light change like right, right now. The daylight out there. Okay, So the ash, whether it's moving around away or the light propagation that's coming in from space. You can't miss it. It's all over the screen right there. All these are stars. There's not lights or anything on Earth, ladies and gentlemen. This is all star propagation. All this stuff that you're seeing there. Star propagation and light down onto Earth. That big triangulation is some star constellation somewhere out in space. You can go see the time, my central standard time down here. And basically, this is live feed. Might be a one or two minute delay. And there's still star propagation all over the place, all over the screen. That's all star propagation. This here. This wild stuff over here to the right. So I'm going to go get you a time and everything and this, where this uh, volcano is located at and so far.